Okay, so I'm doing pretty well. It's April 17th, and everything seems to be going okay right now. My job at Liberty came to an end on Monday, which was the 15th, because that's just when tax season ends. Nothing to, I can do about that. I worked it as much as I could. The boss even let me work as long as I wanted to on Monday, because it was the last day of taxes. And, you know, she wants the advertising as much as anything else, but it was still nice to be able to slip in an extra hour, maybe hour and a half. So I was pleased with that. Uh, I've got two online classes. My signal analysis class is kind of up in the air whether I'm going to get credit for it or not, which comes in the form of a silly little certificate that means nothing to no one but me. But I would like to succeed at this class, even if I've not been putting in all of the effort that I wish I could have. I'm going to go back and review the class from where I left off forward so I can get on the ball with it. I've started a class on gamification, which I'm not sure if I like this guy or not, but it's apparently the only guy who's covering the class, and it's a topic that's of interest to me, so I'll see what I can pick out, but I'm going to take what he says with a grain of salt. I need to buy my animation ticket, but I was planning to buy that with my credit card, so I'm going to put it off until closer to the limit on when I can buy it so that I minimize the amount of interest I have to pay on that. I'm, I also looked at my mathematical analysis projects. The two big ones are the boundary layer work I've been doing and my in-body problem. I mostly looked at my boundary layer work. I think that's in a form that's almost good enough to send to Dr. Desjarnet and say, look at this and tell me whether I'm a genius or an idiot. So, what else am I going to do with it? It's not doing me any good sitting here in a book where no one can see it and nobody knows I did it. At best, nobody else discovers it for 200 years, and I still get no benefit from it. So, I'm going to see what I can do. Um, I did today have a very exciting lunch. I bumped into a guy who, it turns out, is an electrical engineer. He works locally. He doesn't have a job for me or anything, but we did get to talk. He talked about some opportunities for me. The big ones were NASCAR and US Air that are both based out towards Charlotte. So and he said there's lots going on with them. You should look them up. I'd never heard of US Air, but hey, it's a place I can apply, so work with them. And then NASCAR is an opportunity. He said, uh, about half the guys think, oh, you make it slick, and then it goes through the air faster, and that's the limit of their knowledge. So, I think I can make some improvements there, if I can get a job. Uh, I also talked to him about my cardboard furniture, and he smiled, and he actually laughed. He said he did the same thing, making furniture out of cardboard, when he had his first apartment. He said he even had his own desk and wardrobe made out of cardboard, so it worked out really well. I talked to him a little bit about some graphene supercapacitors I'd seen online, because I can't do anything with them, but I thought they were awesome, and he mentioned how fuel cells and batteries and that kind of stuff is a major challenge, that, you know, whoever figures it out is going to be a billionaire. So, I told him about the graphene supercapacitors I'd seen, and he left shortly after that. I don't know if it was such a big deal that he needed to go look at it right away or if he was, you know, just done eating and ready to go. But I also talked about my solar still some and he told me a little bit about my competition. The two big ones are reverse osmosis, which is what most people use, but it's slow, it's expensive, and it requires a power input. And the other one is a home distiller, which he said if you're buying it costs around $6,000. Now you can build them cheaper than that, but then you've got the problem of you're building it, and most of the people who really want them don't know what they're doing. So there's that. I need to still look at insurance and look at a bunch of other things and get on the ball with everything else I need to do, but most of it's pretty good. I'm still planning to review calculus with Deja on Saturday if her plans work out, and I'm planning to see Eric this Friday. 
I haven't seen him since his birthday, and I was kind of a mooch at his birthday, so I want to make up for that. But I guess that's all for now. I've got busy-ish week, but more time on my hands. Hoping to get to see everybody.